Hello, I'm just speaking about uh, chores and the importance for chores and children who are blind or uh, with low vision. Uh, chores are important. You know, I know growing up I didn't want to do chores, but I'll tell you uh, some of my early experiences definitely aided me in the future. I spent most of my life after uh, college living on my own uh, in an apartment. Uh, some uh, in various different locations um, and even before that so my mom uh, had my brothers and I uh, do our laundry starting early on I think uh, middle school or so uh, and I would say even earlier uh, starting to uh, work on doing laundry uh, and their own laundry is uh, very important and making sure uh, they have that opportunity because that builds towards the future laundry was never a the folding part, I'm not a huge fan, but I, I, I do it all the time. I still do my laundry um, as I should. Um, I also uh, do most of the cooking in, in my home when I'm home and, uh, and, and most of the dishes as well. We don't have a dishwasher. We have a dishwasher. We don't use it. We actually uh, do our dishes by hand. Uh, so I'm just saying that uh, chores are important uh, and using systems. So if you're... Uh, you know, vacuuming, using a grid system and teaching uh, the idea of going in a line and back and forth and making sure you're overlapping uh, for that space. That same grid system can do for mowing the lawn, it can do for uh, cleaning a table, it can do for vacuuming or sweeping or mopping. So all that carries over and teaching them that basics uh, makes a big impact in their life and, uh, and their future. You know, I've lived uh, numerous times uh, in apartments and ha uh, homes on my own. So I'm just uh, letting you know what a what an important part that is to get that started early on. Uh, chores seem uh, like a pain and, and are a pain, I guess, but uh, they have to get done. And if you don't do them, no one else will. So uh, making sure they have those skills. Uh, getting them involved in the kitchen, you know, cutting vegetables, very simple, uh, you know, and, and cutting technique, uh, knife technique is the, is the same for a, a person who's blind or with low vision. You're, you know, you tuck your fingers, you're using your knuckle. I'm holding my hand up and tucking my knuckle almost like a fist and using the edge for, and I would take the blade and I could demonstrate that in the future. Uh, but chores, getting them started early and uh, keeping them going. Uh, you can always use a like a behavioral management system, like a reward system, uh, you know, earning points and such. Uh, but, you know, everyone should be doing chores. Have a great day. Take care. I'm Joe Stretchy. I'm a blindness consultant and professional.